Hi guys, welcome to iQuanta. Today we will do Time Street Distance 2. So this is the second part and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe us. And also please, if you like this videos, like and comment. So that will give us motivation to create more videos like this. And this is all for you guys. This is we are doing arithmetic and this is Time Street Distance Part 2. So today we'll discuss some questions. So you know about like DDLG, right? This question is based on DDLG. And here you can see like Simran walks at 4 km per hour. He misses the train by 5 minutes. If she walks at 5 km per hour, he reaches 10 minutes before the arrival of the train. How far is the train station? If I need to solve this question, so how exactly we are going to solve this type of question? Now you need to understand while solving this type of question, the first thing you need to understand, this is a very simple question. And you need to understand like the identify like what is distance, what is speed. You can see like the distance is fixed here and but the speed is not fixed because he's going from one place to another place like let's say the station. So let's think about one thing. Let's say he, the train leaves at 8 a.m. So in the first case, uh, when did he reach? He reached five minutes after. So he reached basically 8.05 a.m. That is the time when he reached. In the second case, he reached 10 minutes early. So he reached at 7.50 a.m. Right. So that's the difference is what? So first you need to find a difference. So the difference is 15 minutes. That you need to understand. Why it is important? Because if the difference is 15 minutes, you can see, then only we can use the question. Now you can see this thing, we can need not to do it like this also. You know, first it is 5 minutes delay. So it is 5, next is 10 minutes early. So it is 10. So what is 10 plus 5? 15. So in that way also you can solve this question. Or you can find a time difference. So the first thing you need to understand, what is the time difference? Now let's think about the distance as D. So I'm just using 2-3 methods. So first method, take the distance as D. So when his speed is 4 km per hour, what is the time taken? D upon 4. When his speed is 5 km per hour, what is the time taken? D upon 5. And this is the time taken when the speed is 4. This is the time taken when the speed is 5. Now what is the time difference? That is 15 minutes. So convert it into kilo in hours. That is 15 upon 60. So if you solve these things, you will get D upon 20 is equal to 1 upon 4. So what is D? D is 5. So you can solve this thing very easily. So what is the distance? That is D 5 kilometers. So this is your answer. This is one way to solve this type of question. Now the question is whether this is the only way to solve this question. The answer is no, it's not the only way to solve this question. We can solve this question in so many other ways as well. So let's give you another method. So think about one thing. Let's say, uh, what is the LCM of 4 and 5? That is 20. So 20 is the LCM. So think about this distance as 20 kilometer, right? When he is going at 4 km per hour, what is the time taken? 5 hours. When he is going at 5 km per hour, what is the time taken? 4 hours. So what is the time difference? So first you need to understand the time difference. So here the time difference is 1 hour. So 1 hour is time difference when the distance is 20 km. But according to the question, what is the time difference? That is 15 minutes, which is 1 fourth of an hour, right? So in case of 1 fourth of an hour, so it has to be 20 upon 4, which is 5 km. You can see, you can solve it very easily by using LCM also. Next method you can use just by normal generic D equal to ST or like the proportionality. You can solve this question. So in this way, you can do one thing. S1 by S2 is T2 upon T1. So in this way, you can solve what is S1. That is 4 upon 5 is same as what is T2. Now, if you need to find what is T2, T2 is basically the original time minus 10. And what is T1? That is original time plus 5. So now this 10 and this thing, what you can also do from this thing, 10 upon 60, you can do also 5 upon 60. And if you solve this question, you'll get T. And using this T, you can solve this question as well. And in fact, you can also solve this question just by using D equal to ST also. That I'm not showing. But these are the four methods how you can solve this type of questions. So remember why these methods are important because it will give you a lot more idea and clarity. Like a question can be solved in so many ways. And you have to use these methods. No method, like you cannot skip any method because some question can be solved, easily solved by one method, some by other. So that's why I always tell you guys, like remember the question methods. Now, let me give a question which is a little bit different from the error, let's say. Now think about a question, let's say. Um, due to 20, so I'm just writing down the question. Due to 20% increase, Due to 20% increase in speed, a man reach his office, a man reach his office ten minutes early. 
Due to 20% increase in speed, a man reaches office 10 minutes early. What is the usual time to, by the man to reach his office? Usual time taken by the man to reach his office. The question is due to 20% increase in speed, a man will reach his office 10 minutes early. So to solve this type of question, we can solve this question in so many ways again. So let's think about how exactly we can solve. First, we can solve by base change. You remember base change? So 20% increase in speed. So what is 20%? Which is one fifth. So one fifth increase in speed is same as one upon five plus one, which is one sixth decrease in speed. So I can say one sixth is basically 10 minutes. So what is one? That is 10 into six, that is 60 minutes. So what is the usual time? 60 minutes. So this is one of the very simple method to solve a question like this. Second also, you can solve this question by uh, using proportionality also. So I can say like the S1 is 100, let's say, S2 is 120. Now I can write like S1, like 100 upon 120 is nothing but T minus 10 upon T. So if you solve this thing, you'll get T equal to 60 also. So this is another method you can solve this question. Next is like what else you can do this to solve this question. You can use directly D equal to ST also to solve this question. Like you can use a formula to solve this question. And apart from this, so you can solve this question by taking also the LCM. So think about S1 and S2 is 100, 120. So what is the LCM? 600. So take the distance is 600 kilometer. So when the speed is 100 kilometers per hour, the time taken is six hours. When the speed is 120 km per hour, the time taken is 5 hours because the distance is 600 km. So what is the time difference? 1 hour is the time difference when the original time is 6 hours. But according to the question, what is the time difference? According to the question, what is the time difference? 10 minutes, which is same as 1 6 hours. So 1 6 hour is the time difference when the actual time is 6 into 1 upon 6, which is 1 hour. So you can see how many ways we can solve one particular question. So that's why it is very important to understand the methods and what methods are associated to solve these particular questions. So let's go for the next question. So I hope you have understood these two questions. So all these questions are based on proportionality. Now this question is Anubha takes 20 minutes less than usual time to reach his office, her office if her speed increased by 5 km per hour and takes 30 minutes and takes 30 minutes more than the usual time if our speed decreases by 5 km per hour. Now, if you see this question, there is one thing you need to understand. This question requires equation. In the previous question, we can see like how it is increasing, how it is decreasing, 20% increase. So that is in a relative term. But here the thing is given, like it is increased by 5. It is not said, it is increased by 5%. So 5% is a different case, 5 is a different case. You need to be very careful what exactly the question is stating. Now here, when we try to solve this question, so how we can solve this question? The first thing we can write D equal to ST. This is a general formula. So I'm using D equal to ST to solve this question. Now Anubha takes 20 minutes less than the usual time to reach her office if her speed increases by 5 km per hour. So I can write D is equal to S plus 5 into T minus 20 minutes they have said. So 20 minutes matlab T minus 20 upon 60. I'm converting everything in hours. So now I can write ST, D is ST, so I'm just replacing D by ST. So ST is equal to ST plus 5T minus S by 3 minus 5 by 3. So now ST, ST gets cancelled out, so I get one equation which is 5T minus S upon 3 is equal to 5 upon 3. That's the equation 1. Now the next thing that we are going to discuss here, that is the next equation, which is D is S minus 5. When it is decreased by 5, the time taken is 30 minutes more. So that is T plus 30 upon 60, which is 1 by 2 anyway. So I can say again, ST equal to ST minus 5T plus S by 2 minus 5 by 2. This is S. So this ST is again cancelled out. So I'll get uh, minus 5T plus S by 2 is equal to 5 by 2. And I also get plus 5T minus s by 3 is equal to 5 by 3. If I add this thing, this thing gets cancelled out. So this becomes s upon 6 is 25 upon 6. So hence your answer is what is s? That is 25. So that's the usual speed is 25 kilometers per hour. So how exactly we solve this question? We just used equation to solve this question. Now is there any shortcut to solve this type of question? Now so remember if this question is like this, in one case it is increased by same speed, in the other case it is decreased by same speed. 
So in that case, the answer in general for this type of questions. So the question is how you can find the answer. So now it is 30 minutes and 20 minutes, right? So think about one thing here. So you can see one thing it is like, this is five is there, right? Now, the, diff, the sum of the time difference. So first one is half plus one upon three divided by the difference of the time difference, half minus one by three. So for the first case, it is like half, like second case, it is 30 minutes more, half, 20 minutes less, one by three. So half plus one by three, half minus one by three. So you'll solve, you'll get 25 directly. Also, you can do the same thing like this, five into 30 plus 20 divided by 30 minus 20. In this case, you don't need to even convert also because this thing will get cancelled out. So that is also 25 if you see. So this is how we can solve this type of question. So I hope you have understood how exactly we are using this concept of proportionality to solve all this type of question. So I've given you a shortcut. I have given you all these type of things which you are going to use in the later case to solve this type of question. So this is all about today's session. The next into the tomorrow's session, uh, like the next session, we will discuss something more based on like TSD. So I hope you understand proportionality. So see you guys in the next session. Tab tak ke liye. Keep updating, keep posting and also keep liking our videos. And thank you very much.